So on this channel, I usually talk about tools that small business owners can use to make more money. However, when it comes to making money, it's not just through doing business. You can also make a lot of money by working a job. Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? Today, I'm going to be talking about Loop CV and what this tool does. It helps you to automatically find jobs, email your resume and your cover letter over so that you can land yourself with more interviews. With more interviews, you can, of course, you may have more offers and you can pick, you know, the best offer or even ask, uh, you know, some of these companies to give you a better offer, right? And I, one thing that I find is that uh, while a lot of people think that doing business is a good way to becoming rich, I feel that actually working a job is also able to help you to make a lot of money because if you were to hop in your job you can easily you know get a 20% raise at each, each time and you know uh, with uh, you know a tool like loop CV it's going to help you to get there even faster so before I dive into loop CV be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content right so here you go so here we are in loop CV um, over here, so what I've done as well is uh, I've created a loop. So what a loop is, uh, I'm just going to briefly talk about what it, what it is, is that uh, you kind of put in certain job titles and the location of the jobs that you're looking for. And then it's going to, you know, find these jobs for you. All right. So that's kind of uh, what a loop is. And of course, you can then enable auto apply. So that's going to send out all these applications uh, for you. So firstly, uh, what you want to do is kind of jump into your account settings and upload your resume right here. So it can be a PDF or word file. Um, but of course, if you really know how to go about looking for a job i would say that you want to upload a pdf uh, that is properly designed for the kind of role that you are applying for okay so uh, next thing is that uh, you want to configure your smtp settings this is when you want to set up the auto apply feature right so uh, just click on configure now put in your smtp uh, the port and the uh, connection username password uh, in here once you have that you will then be able to uh, automatically send out your cvs if you don't use that then you know uh, you know you, you will be using what uh, loop cv has right which is not a very good idea you want to use your own smtp so that those uh, applications actually come from you Okay, so firstly, what you want to do is uh, jump into new loop. Okay, so this is where you put in your uh, your job title, the job location, right, and the you know experience, right? Uh, what kind of uh, role you know the experience level is? You can put that in, and what kind of job is it? Is it a uh, full time contract, part time, temporary, or an internship? And then upload your CV in here okay so um let me just kind of put in something right so maybe like software technician something like that right and then you can put in say london okay right and then you can also choose to say only search for remote jobs if you want to um and whether you want it to be anywhere in the world you can turn that on as well okay so once you're ready just click on next right and then over here is where you can pick your email template right so there are multiple uh, email templates right here say you want to use this one right present yourself okay so i came across your job here with the url regarding an opportunity in this location uh, I'm interested in applying for this position at this company name after the reading the job description okay blah 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 right put in your name last name right and then you can put in uh, of course you can you can edit the template right so you can maybe put in your contact number in here if you want them to give you a call um, right so this one is ask for opportunities okay um, right and then this is for open position right talk about that event 
okay all right and present yourself uh, ask regarding open position and the standard application and the straightforward application right so these are the ways and of course you can create your own email template in here okay right and then you can use these um, like short codes kind of thing right over here so these are the ones um, okay so once you have a uh, you know a, a template that you like just click on uh, you know just just go next and just click on save and go next right and then if you want to exclude certain companies right you can put that in as well okay uh, and then you can also choose the keywords right so maybe like marketing sorry and this is software so like maybe like Python or I don't know what kind of programming language you know C plus whatever right just put that in or maybe even exclude certain words right and then uh, Next is you want to choose the level of job match that you prefer, whether it's low, medium, or high. All right, so, so, uh, so that means uh, when you put low, right? So even if the uh, level of match is not very good, it will still send on an application, right? I I generally will go for high, so that um, just kind of share with you why to do so okay over here the next step is that you can automatically send emails right or you can also automatically fill form applications okay so let's say um okay so once you have this ready right you can click start the loop right so let me just kind of uh, jump back very quickly on why i would choose like high because once you go into like the so so the data i mean all the jobs uh, that's been crawled will then be in here okay so what happens is that uh it will also tell you so if you have a current loop right so it will tell you um let me just go into loop info and if you go into loop stats it's going to tell you that there are jobs that are not matched because of unrelated job title or uh, so so there will be reasons that they tell you why it doesn't match okay so um, so for example maybe like head of digital and e-commerce so I guess this would be uh, related right and then you've got campaign manager and campaign manager for media buying so what happens is if you want to I mean of course uh, a lot of you are probably business owners right here but if you ever um, sort of work in the work at the job what happens is that um, to, to give you a higher chance for interview what you want to do is that you may want to have different versions of your resume so uh, in this one for like campaign manager for media buying I would then maybe edit my resume to be more focused on the media buying uh, aspect of my experience and the skill sets that I have then I will then send out these uh, resumes right here I wouldn't say uh, just send out my resume as it is right now because then uh, it will give me a very low chance of being caught for an interview okay so that's kind of uh, what I would do okay so like some things like legal intern probably that's not so relevant but maybe say I have um, uh, you know I have certain skill sets that allow me to become a web developer I might say create a new version of my resume uh, and submit this for a web developer role something like that okay so that's what I would do okay um right and then like hit of ugc right so user generated generated content so it's more like a community manager kind of role then i would then uh once again talk about certain things that i'm good at uh or have experience in uh you know managing a community right and or and actually actually uh sort of gener generating or incentivizing uh user generated content something like that and that is going to help me uh 
significantly in applying for this role okay right and uh of course uh so that's that's really you know kind of what i would do okay and then uh so that's why i would set it to high okay so that i only apply for this kind of jobs and then those that are not uh i can of course set to low and it's going to give me everything but then i will only apply for the high ones you know and then edit my resume and then send it out to the next batch you know something like that uh that's i i would feel that that would give me a much higher um you know uh rate for getting interviews right okay so uh then next thing of course you get all your matches right here there are that allow you to automatically apply okay so you you can click on this it's going to then apply for the job for you uh let me see okay so they would tell you say um like what's the platform right so if it's linkedin you can click on it uh it's like an easy apply function and then uh if it's apply manually is like it's likely a uh, what you call it, a redirection right it's redirecting to what we call a ats system like a application tracking system uh it's sort of like the company's own job board kind of thing right so that so this is where you can click on okay uh yep so so these are the jobs right here so as you can see there's like 85 jobs i guess right 85 jobs that are very relevant okay so that's kind of how uh this this works okay so let me just kind of talk about say um so the filters here you have will be like uh, matches with emails, uh, matches with job applications, matches with pending questions, matches that can apply on demand, support easy apply. So those are the uh, filters. And then on top of that, you the, the portal that the, the platform, the job portal that they support will be LinkedIn, Workable, who is hiring, Readco UK, Monster, uh, Simply Hired, Jubo and Indeed. Okay, so of course, uh, coming from Singapore, I would say that they don't have the largest uh, portals here, which is, uh, say, my career's future, job street. Uh, I would say like this, this too. And for some reason, it's also not able to give me jobs in Indeed. So it probably only picks up jobs in the sort of global indeed itself and not the localized singapore uh portal of indeed right so that's that's uh missing as well okay and then same for jubo that's no uh there's no result here um i would think that there would be marketing jobs in jubo right I, I mean although jubo in singapore is not as huge as indeed but um you know i would think that they would still still have some marketing related jobs so i don't think that they also pull the jobs from the local uh indeed yet right and then monster as well uh it's you know it's not there uh i mean in singapore it's called found it right now there's been renamed uh but it's not picking up anything right so maybe found it might be a totally different uh solution from monster which could still be existing in other countries right so but mainly right now there's only in uh, linkedin and workable which i still think it is very useful because uh when it comes to applying on indeed it is very i would say it's kind of annoying right and then uh, on workable uh there is a lot of opportunities to kind of find jobs on workable uh which i think that this is very useful right so unfortunately um, let's say i'm going to be using this in singapore i'm going to be looking for jobs in singapore i would then have uh automated apl application running for linkedin and workable right uh and then i would just manually apply for jobs in uh my career's future and job street itself then you know i would be hitting all the channels that's available uh that will get me 
uh, that will get me lots of uh, interviews, right? So pretty much, uh, that's the. Of course, you can then ch go down into filtering for certain companies as well, okay? Right, and then uh, on b on the board, this is uh, where this is like a Kanban board, right? So you can you know add a new job. Right, and then you put it in here so that oh, have you applied for the job? Are you going for an interview? When is the interview? You can put that in, right? So that's going to you know help you to track your job applications, right? And then any jobs that you applied, uh, it will be right here, okay? Uh, and then lastly, uh, question so there isn't any. I don't think that there is anything for questions. Um, I think questions only opens up when you start applying for jobs and then there's some sort of uh, questions that they ask you beforehand before you can successfully apply for the job. Uh, so I think you, uh, you would then be asked to fill in those uh, questions and answers right and then you can put them in here which will they will then automatically send out those applications with the answers on these uh, questions right and then uh, inbox i think this is uh, just kind of tell you what is any updates in your application right here right so uh so pretty much uh, that's all for loop cv uh what i can say about loop cv so far is that i think it's a great tool uh it's just not comprehensive enough in terms of integration with different job portals so uh and i know that integrating with job portals with the auto apply feature is not easy because you have because you you would have to create the kind of automations that's required right and 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 whenever certain job portals make certain changes to their ui ux you would then need to sort of uh redo everything right uh you got to try and fix the automation again so it's not it's not something simple but i feel that overall uh these this is a i would say that this is a very helpful tool um as a singaporean i find that this main this uh still has some value to me because linkedin has still has a lot of jobs uh workable has a lot of jobs that people don't apply for and then uh, uh, I would just need to kind of focus on one or two different job portals to get me a lot of uh, uh, you know interviews so overall I think that this too is very helpful if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about loop CV in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who can benefit from loop CV be sure to share this video with them I'll see you in my next video bye bye